a tailing leg. Um, and that's really the main concentration, I think, of weaknesses um, in the case of these. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I missed. I think I kind of caught it. I mean, there are some character issues with some, you know, buildings that are not sort of respecting of your traditional architecture, but that's the, um, that's the crux of it. So for our exploration, um, I think in some ways the issues were pretty straightforward. You have all the great stuff around the side, and you have all the bad stuff concentrated right down, <laughs> right down your corridor. Um, so there were sort of two, two or three major things we wanted to look at. Um, the first has to do with improving the streetscaping along Harrison, which uh, not only addresses some of the things that Dwayne talked about in terms of um, providing parking, narrowing down the street, slowing down traffic, um, all of those things improved your pedestrian connection. Um, but for us, it's also critical in, in improving the aesthetic of the street itself. You know, there are sort of two ways to improve Harrison. One is to improve the street itself, and then the second is the quality of the buildings on the outside of it. So starting first with um, looking at met of, of tools to improve Harrison. Um, the second thing that we started to study, this is kind of our outline drawing here, um, the second thing we studied were these critical nodes um, along the street. You guys have heard a lot about um, the amount of commercial space that a neighborhood can reasonably support. And you really have um, quite a long stretch of Harrison here. And so the, the belief that that can be solidly sort of Main Street buildings, we think is probably not the future for this, especially with Cheviot close by and access to other parts. So one thing that we've heard and we think would be very um, important here is to concentrate um, these kind of commercial mixed use um, uses at key nodes. So looking at building on the sort of historic fabric up top here right around your sort of northern entrance to, to your neighborhood, looking at the configuration of that intersection to make it, um, to make it more attractive. Um, and, and focus that around there. And then the second place we're really looking at again is this intersection of Epworth and Harrison um, and really building up some of the assets in this area. You already have, again, the sort of access to the town hall here. The idea of the Madcap Public Theater, one of the things we heard in um, sort of visions for this community is to build on the tremendous energy that this can bring here. It's a, not just a theater, not just exhibition space. Um, there's a plans for programming performances within the community, and the idea that this is going to be very active and can serve as a kind of uh, center of gravity for this area. So build on that by supporting that with an excuse. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit at the southern end about um, improving that entrance. So I think what I'd like to do is maybe have Brian come in here um, and talk first. We're a work in progress here. So. We have some initial sketches about this area. Um, I don't know if we've gotten to this intersection just yet. All right, that's fine. <laughs> initial ideas about this area, and then um, we'll have Dwayne come over and we'll talk about um, the street improvements, and then we'll talk a little bit about character after that. Um, Um, so as Maggie said, we've um, looked at this intersection a lot um, in this, uh, this past day here and uh, really tried to um, explore different ideas that um, accomplish a lot of the uh, visions that came out of the discussions in our trip there. Um, uh, Harrison is, uh, does have a fair amount of traffic. Um, we talked about ways to sustain that and we've incorporated. Um, in this case, right along the park edge, we think we can incorporate um, this first idea here where you have the diagonal parking shifting the two lanes of traffic to one side because as Dwayne said earlier, um, you can uh, get great benefit out of that along this edge because uh, there are very little breaks except for um, where we want to have crossing for pedestrians. So that would give us a lot of um, extra parking along the street. Um, and then as we get into the main street, we would probably incorporate 
more of a, a parallel parking condition. Um, so that in itself helps slow traffic. Um, another thing we wanted to do was explore this idea of uh, creating a, a stronger center, a little uh, civic square that might address um, the Madcap Theater, the church, and then also open up some uh, opportunity for some new development around there to really create a, a strong center here. So what this first option looked at was um, connecting, uh, there's a, a currently a little island here, um, I think it has uh, just grass island here, it allows Irwaller to cut straight through. This it should also be clear, I think we had at least, at least half a dozen people who came in today who didn't even realize that that island existed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did just drive right past it now. Um, so this, this first option uh, stops Irwaller and traffic would actually come up and go this way to Montclair and right come down and, and hook around um, or come around this way. Um, there's a lot of benefits to that. One is, and primarily, uh, it creates a space here that can serve as a, a small little, um, little triangular square, if you will. Um, again, fronted by a new piece of development here that would um, attach to some of the existing buildings that are currently on your main street. Um, and this, as you're coming up Harrison, really creates a, a sort of a focal point for the heart of the neighborhood. Um, and it also helps clean up some of our pedestrian connections across both of these streets um, with parking reservoirs on the, on the other side. It makes it easier for pedestrians to get over to probably the church, but also um, Madcap. Um, so we saw some benefits in that. Um, this is probably the, out of the options that we looked at here, this is um, the least intrusive. It's just adding curves to what already exists today um, and creating a new space um, while also providing some new development opportunities. Excuse me, what did you say you're going to do to Irwiler? Irwiler does not go straight through. Currently, Irwiler comes through today. So this option looks at extending the, the triangle out to the, uh, the island that's here so today. So both sides of Irwiler stop? Yes, you, you would go around to get straight through before you come up around this way. So the primary... Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say that the streets aren't cut off. They're still linking into Epworth and Harrison. They just don't cut. It just doesn't cut across right. that intersection in that configuration. Which intersection? Because I do that every day. Yeah. It's already this there. This is Harrison. Right. I'm right. down Epworth. And I want to go over to, to the or whatever. To here. Yeah. Okay. So you would come up around the new little square and over this. That's what I do now. You have to do that. No, you come straight through. Uh, not if you want to live. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. All the more reason. Genius. <laughs> there's, a really, there's a stoplight there that there is. makes you want to do. Right. right. It allows better do. movement with the stoplight. So it was sort of a logical. So good. So we're taking a useless piece of street that apparently isn't even functional today and turning it into turning it into plaza. So it can actually be civic or public space. You haven't solved the problem of trying to cross the street. The only thing well, that, really dead. Yeah, I bet. Um, the one thing that that does allow you to do is that allows you you can still put crosswalks in there and then it becomes essentially a big um, a big refuge. Yeah, little, uh, and gives you one left cross. Tiny roundabout sort of thing. Yeah, but without the road on one side yeah. of it. <laughs> Half a roundabout. It's That's funny you say that because now we have option two. Option two. Quarter <laughs> round. Option two. Uh, <laughs> rhombus. Option two assumes uh, uh, the same arrangement for parking along uh, Harrison that it goes through. Um, but what it does is in, uh, makes the current island that is there today bigger. So. Again, trying to create more of a, a little space, a civic square, if you will, um, out of that island. But what we're doing is we're creating a, a, a one-way loop around it. So if you're coming up Harrison, traffic going northbound goes around this island. Southbound still goes straight through. Um, and Irwiler, in this case, would still go straight through. Now, this, this road requires some adjustments with the, you know, the traffic lights and such. Um, but what it does accomplish is, again, trying to get a bigger civic space here. Um, we do uh, also get um, some development blocks around the, uh, the square itself. Um, so that was option two that we looked at. Three is the... Um, the Cadillac option. 
Um, what this does, uh, again, we're still keeping the same uh, parking arrangements on Harrison, but what we're really doing here is creating a strong focus uh, in this in this area. Um, traffic is really, really coming to a 90 degree turn and meant nope, to, nope. to go around. It's a square about. It's a square about. <laughs> so very much like a roundabout, but a square. Northbound, you're coming up and around. And southbound, you're coming up and down and around the square. What we'd like to do here is do a, a, a special paving around there, like a brick or a, 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 a concrete paver, um, so that this really starts to feel like uh, a plaza of sorts um, that maybe in some cases might be um, blocked off to create a very big square um, for a special you know, community event uh, once or twice a year. Um, but this, in our mind, creates the best option for a civic space. Um, that is different than what you have here in the lawn in front of the, uh, the rec center. Um, it becomes a more, much more urban space. Um, and again, development opportunities around this where they create a new space and sort of a new, new heart for the community. So this is the far-reaching option. Where would the parking be from that right now? I mean, if you do that. Um, we still have preserved a good portion of the parking lot that's back here. Um, there's been discussions about uh, shared use with the church. Now we realize that there are times when, on a Saturday, there may be a wedding plus, you know, and if there's an event at Madcap, there would be some, some sharing and, and, and working that out. Um, and then also, uh, we've got a lot of increased parking on the on the streets. Um, we've counted as as far as I think 80 to 100 new spaces that we can add just on street parking. Um, so that includes some parking along here and, and all the way up through. Well, we, we didn't, that count includes about this stretch, which is a comfortable walk to get to the Madcap, or if there's an event happening at the, the town hall. Um, These are, I believe, 20, where's Dwayne? We count 20. The one-way square about with the one way was it 20 foot road? It's about 20 feet because they get big, big trucks around it. Right. But even though it's a very wide street, it's a very short street. Right. So I don't know. Maybe that's too much of a problem with feeding there. And there, there, and there are turns involved. So it is a really beautiful tribute. To people. But it's, it's still one way, right? Yeah. It's still yeah. one way. Right. Now, now, that's dead center of Westwood. Side. And there's a lovely. Or other. Richard, in the current uh -huh. traffic island. Yeah. And that little island is the Richard Gaines Island. Richard Gaines is one of the earliest pioneers of Westwood. Um, I guess just to carry on to that, just um, we did take a we did take a stab at, um, at illustrating what what that might what that might look like um, to have a civic. To have a civic green in that place. So this aerial view, we just we put up here. There's a photo of the existing, which we have modeled. I mean, roughly, sort of modeled what that space looks like currently. And then taking that same view, um, Joe Skiba from our team has taken a look at um, at illustrating what new development could look like along that square, the square itself. We've also illustrated how the um, how the uh, forecourt and entry sequence to Madcap could made more open and more grand. Um, so you can start to see in this perspective, I think, the prominence of the church tower, the um, relationship of, of this institutional use to the square, and then you see the very tip of the, of the town hall square as well. So you, this becomes a sort of sequence of public spaces along there. And that actually works. This is showing the square about, but I think that's the, yeah. the advantage of any of these options is that you're getting a public space and the idea of, of finding ways to build new buildings around it to really activate it and make it feel like your core. So rather than thinking of Harrison as a big, long main street, you know, we started to think of this actually as kind of your village green, you know, very traditional Midwestern village green, um, which I think would be appropriate for y'all. Um, so going from there, um, like I said, we haven't developed the sketches for this, so that'll come Thursday. We'll have some other options for you. Um, uh, but um, maybe 
maybe Dwayne, is there anything you want to add on the traffic side? I think maybe Ryan kind of covered where we were. Is that clear for you guys then? We thought that the diagonal parking probably works best around your town hall, your town hall edge, which kind of reinforces this village green idea. And then we see the rest of Harrison going to much more this kind of configuration where you define the parking on the side so it's no longer, you know, the other traffic lane or parking. The other thing too that we'll try to accomplish with that is, is stretching that green we talked last night about the green is concentrated as a square um, but you know getting um, greater planter beds and, and street tree um, planters kind of pull that green through there so. Great. Um, so I think the final thing we wanted to talk about which is I mean part of an ongoing discussion I think has to do with the sort of character of the building um, that we think may be appropriate for Harrison um, you know we're very sensitive to fact that this is a predominantly single family neighborhood once you get a block off the street. But Harrison is also, I mean, it is a main, it is a main thoroughfare. Um, and it goes back to this issue of wanting to have some residential, you know, some additional residential density near your commercial uses um, to, to help support those businesses. Um, plus, it seems that with the theater, with the theater coming in, um, and the uses that I think people are seeing there that have to do with some additional restaurants, um, you know, cafe, great little brunch spot, <laughs> things like this. Deli. Deli. Need a deli. <laughs> but so the idea that you do need you need some you need some pedestrian traffic, I think, along Harrison. So we started to think about what those sections may be, and John will get into a little bit how that relates to the regulating plan. Um, but we thought what you have just loosely colored here, if you can imagine. You know, at each end, you sort of have, you know, a, a zone that I'm referring to as your entry, or your southern entry and your northern entry, um, which, um, which I think would tie into kind of a flex, um, what we're calling a T5 flex area. Um, and in those spaces, we see um, everything from kind of, um, you know, some of the smaller sort of main street options um, to the potential for some single-use commercial buildings in there. We think you need some flexibility in those areas, but the idea is to get things up to the street and make them feel like um, like good entries. Um, we really want to target um, the bulk of the mixed use and the kind of scale right around your center here. Um, there is a lot of green space, so um, we think that getting to a, a three-story height, for example, in this kind of mixed use um, look, um, some of which you see you know, showing up along along here, we think would be a really comfortable um, relationship for that area. Um, and we've just begun to sort of circle some of the photos that we were thinking of when we were when we were doing this. And then there's this area in the middle that I'm still grasping for a word. I think is a kind of transitional area. Um, it's interesting with Harrison. I think where some of these uh, other communities that we've been looking at have this very solid traditional main street. Um, Harrison, I, you know, I don't know, it'd be interesting to dig out the historic maps to know whether those were originally houses that were on the street that have since converted to commercial. So, so they're, gone. they're gone. So one idea for that is um, is that as as the as those areas redevelopment that redevelop, that maybe there's the ability to get either residential uses, professional offices, back into buildings that may have. More of um, more of that kind of character to them. So we are looking. These are things that are called sort of multiplexes, um, you know, in our building typology sheets. Um, but you can see that we've sort of identified the ones that have a large house architecture, and the idea that those can not only be more compatible with the neighborhood, um, they can bring some residential density right to your street where you want it, where you can get pedestrian traffic feeding into that. They can also support some small some small office uses along there. So that's kind of what we're thinking of um, in that zone. And the idea, I think, we're going to have, if Joe, if Joe has time, we've talked about maybe doing a little eye level perspective of what that would look like just to help you sort of imagine what that could be. Um, so I think with that, uh, John, do you want to talk at all about the, or Dan? Yeah, that's fine. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say a lot, but um, I just want to mention that we have done a draft regulating plan for Westwood as well, but it's simply taking the draft for base code and actually applying the zones. And we can talk more about
about that it's simply reinforcing this structure that the, the urban design team has created. So it's really exciting for us to kind of see this mechanism being used and the building types being used by the design team to actually kind of work with you all to, to reinforce your vision. This is this is a really fantastic idea, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. This is pretty yeah, exciting. That's a wonderful. Yeah. This is, to me, this is a, a, a game changer. Uh -huh. um, this is what Westwood needs to kind of put itself back on the map in terms of being competitive to draw people into your community. So this this was really exciting to see, and um, you know, it's only going to get get better from here. So uh, I think what we're going to do is break up. Uh, is anybody here that's not from these two neighborhoods, College Hill or Westwood? Okay, good. So what the teams will do is the team that worked on sort of the res respective neighborhoods will just be in front of the drawings for you to come up and actually see them. So I know you can't tell what's actually in these little drawings, but come up, take a look at these great sort of uh, first pass at drawings and ask the team questions. And um, tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be focusing on the other two neighborhoods. You're welcome to come back. Um, uh, but there won't be a lot of progress or, because we are shifting, but the team will continue to kind of split our, not split our time, but spend some more time on this, getting it ready for that final presentation on Thursday. But uh, thank you for coming, uh, getting good turnout once again, and keep coming, and keep continuing to give, to give us your feedback because I think we're, we're all really excited about where this has gone in a very short period of time and kind of where we continue to, continue to take that for your neighborhood. So let's just split up.